A swarm of earthquakes is underway at the world's largest active volcano, USGS issue update. Earthquake swarms continue at the world's most active volcano on the Big Island of Hawaii, prompting the USGS to issue an update on Mount Mauna Loa there. In the past 24 hours, 63 earthquakes have struck in and around Hawaii, with most earthquakes centered in two areas. The first is near the summit area of the Mauna Loa volcano, the other is located near the town of Pahala near the southeast coast of Hawaii. Island. In the last seven days 322 earthquakes were recorded by USGS here, in the last 30 days, the number stands at 739. The overall trend is an increase in seismic activity in Hawaii, especially near the summit of Mauna Loa, where 38 earthquakes struck yesterday morning alone. Seismic activity under Mauna Loa has increased gradually over the past two months, said Ken Hun, servant scientist at the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, HVO. Small earthquakes are considered a normal part of this increased activity. There is currently no indication that magma is moving toward the surface and other monitoring systems are showing normal behavior. Seismic and deformation levels remain below those recorded during winter 2021. HVO will continue to monitor this activity and report any significant changes. Scientists are continuing to evaluate what created this latest seismic swarm at Mauna Loa. In a statement, the USGS said, this earthquake may have resulted from a change in the magma storage system and or may be part of a normal readjustment of the volcano due to changes in pressure within it. HVO continues to monitor the Hawaiian volcano for any changes. According to the USGS, a swarm is a sequence of mostly small earthquakes with no identifiable main shock. Swarms are usually short-lived, but they can continue for days, weeks, or sometimes even months, the USGS added. The swarm started around 2 a.m. Hawaii time on Friday and continues today. The first 38 earthquakes of the swarm were located below the summit caldera region with most earthquakes in clusters about 3.1 miles wide and minus 1.2 to 0.6 miles below the surface. Mauna Loa isn't the only volcano behaving a little differently this week. On September 20, increased seismicity, ground deformation, and surface lava flow at the summit of Mount Kilauea occurred between 1500 and 1800 that day. Starting at 15.00, earthquake activity below the peak began to increase, followed by peak inflation starting at around 16.20. New lava eruptions began to occur at the bottom of the Halamaumau crater in the Kilauea caldera at 16.30. At the same time, there were about 50 earthquakes detected below the peak of Kilauea, with the largest quake about one mile below Halamaumau. The strongest earthquake in the swarm was an event of magnitude 2.9, with most others recorded below 2.0. During this activity, the lava lake dropped dramatically to 23 feet while the bottom of the crater around the lava lake also receded by several meters. While Kilauea is actively erupting, all lava flows are trapped within the deep Kilauea peak caldera.